Welcome back. Stop talk and roll. I have no idea what episode it is because I'm live right now on YouTube streaming, YouTube live, whatever it's called. Uh, if you want to come join us next time, feel free. But if not, the episodes are still here. We have Dan in, it looks like a black key that might be navy blue. I can't tell just yet. And Roberto in the white looking to start off. Nice pant grip. That's a pain in the butt to deal with. Um, Roberto, kind of let him come up in single leg X on that one. I would look to, so if, you know, let's get like kind of a hypothetical here. Not even hypothetical, like you're, you're, you're working your way up. What, a, a really important thing, guys, in general, is you need to be, you need to make sure that you're controlling the knees, okay? So you already have a grip around his shin here. There's no reason not to simply slide your body up and over the knee so you're either like right over the knee or right over the thigh and look there to press this down okay there's not really he if, if you stay below the knee like this he's going to continue to have mobility which is going to let him escape play his guard do whatever um if you can smash this down you're going to be in good shape generally you're looking to collect the knees together when you're passing or split them apart Okay, uh, collecting them together would be like in um, in like a body lock to the side pass. I mean, actually, I guess that kind of opens them up and knee slice opens them up. But generally, I mean, it may be like a Toriendo going around, right? So you're putting the knees together and putting them to the side or whatever that might be. It's it's You're just keeping them together. Um, when you only control below the knee like this, you're, you're letting Dan be mobile. So he gets you right where he wants you, I believe, in single leg X. Nice, good collar grip. Nice, good pant grip. I would be surprised if you don't go for a ride at this point. Um, I would break this grip. I'd be primary number one. Yeah, like I wouldn't. And Dan, I mean, what you could do with this grip, if you're going to have it, right, let's make sure we use it. Pull right down here, right? Just pull hard that way. And turn your body this way okay obviously in the gi you got to watch the reaps but either way you could do a, a nice big collar drag and rip them to the floor and you know there's not much roberto's gonna be able to to do about that um you know worst case scenario he steps with this it would be his left but his outside leg right he steps with this but all that's going to do for you is bring it in range and what you could do is you you rip you rip to the floor you relinquish that and you can grab it could be passed once he gets his, yeah. So back to here with putting the knees together. Yeah, the could be passed is a good example. Thank you of um, when you're getting your knees together. That I, I like to do that a lot. Um, I'm going to be recording a bunch of episodes tonight, and you know maybe I'll just do that next. I know that I did that a few times with my man Q. So again, we're posted up here. Again, I, I really don't like him having this call like this, but this is a good opportunity. Um, so this is a this is the case where I don't care if they have the collar because, again, if you just slide your body up over this knee and clamp down, I mean, you're essentially getting to a, a Khabib-style pass there, um, and that's going to be rough to deal with. I hope you guys move back on screen. We seem to be moving away. Um, there you go. So look at the difference. Your grip is above the knee now. And look how much you're controlling that leg now. Dan's right leg is still in play. And look at that. How cool is that? The second you relinquish that grip, right, Roberto? The second you relinquish that grip, watch, this knee comes right back in. So when you're passing, when you're trying to control somebody, get above their knees. Sometimes this is the unfortunate thing about watching this after the fact and not having a live person doing... Oh, are you attacking the foot? It looks like a toe hold. Oh, no, he cleared it. So, okay. Oh, that's hold? So, 
if you're going to attack that toehold, one of the first things to kind of help with the actual like breaking mechanics of it is you want to put their toe right into their butt and and like bend the toes in. That's going to get you the actual break, but you're also going to need some kind of control here um, because very similarly, you know, you control the hip, you control the, the, the thigh. What Dan can do is straighten his leg um, and eventually he gets you in a really awkward position where you can't continue to hold it. But that's the idea there to actually hit the break. We have Jeff and it looks like Will a little bit in the way. So I, I edited all these rounds. We should have some, some room here. Attacking from Turtle. Um, is your arm stuck? So what you could do to free your arm very simply. Oh, am I in the way? No, I'm good. Um, very simply, just knee tap right here. Take your knee and just put a wedge right over his elbow. And then you can do two things at once, right? You can remove your arm and then you can also replace that space with your knee and then you're good to go, right? So you want to get your leg in there, either having your hook in down here or looking to um, catch the arm. Uh, either way, you're going to get your leg in through that. So you drive like kind of kneecap down. So you put your knee down, put your foot up and drive down into this little section right here. And you can use that to rip your arm out and replace with your knee. I think we're going to roll back on screen in a second. Ooh. Interesting. Almost had like a chicken wing submission going on. So right here, Dan, a really good move while you still have your, your hands under there. And and uh, I know it sounds funny, but snake your hands up and grab the back of his pants. And you could walk forward and, and just basically... You could deadlift them or just dump his legs. As you come up, what would happen is as you're holding onto the pant legs, it sends his legs flying over his head and inverts him. Um, and you can use that to pass. Setting up a Kimura. You got, you got to really sit up to get your arm over get your like armpit over their shoulder to really get your arm in there nicely. Oh, hey, Jeff. Seeing some people in the chat. Guys, I, I do a few, you, you haven't been here before, haven't seen my show, I break down jujitsu rounds. F feel free to ask some questions. It's my first time doing this or, or add some commentary. I appreciate Christian dropping some some knowledge. Ooh, going for a little Ezekiel, it looks like. I think the, t the round's coming to an end, so they're <laughs> we have a 30-second timer in our gym. So uh, sometimes towards the end of the rounds, you see some, like, desperation attempts. Oh, duh. <laughs> we got a double Ezekiel going on. I mean, I would, if you want to hit something, I would look to, oh, maybe you got that. I mean, you have this arm right here. So if you, uh, I'll pause this in a second and, and, Regardless of the time, there's a good pass right here that you can work on. So this is something I do often, um, and, and you're in the perfect position for it. So you're putting a lot of pressure up top, which is great. Um, and you already kind of have your hips high, which is also great. So something, what you're doing is essentially you're, you're tripoding. So what you could do is taking your, what would be your left leg, Dan, the person on top, you can throw your foot over and and put the top of your foot on what would be Roberto's right leg here, okay? And you can use that to pry his hips down, so creating a wedge again and keeping his hips down as you go to take this leg out. And a simple thing to do, you don't even have to like rip your leg out. You can just take your knee and drive it to this space right here. And what ends up happening is you have the top of your foot over here on this thigh and the top of your foot over on your your left leg um on this thigh right i know it's like a lot let me clean some of this up real quick so you'd have here and you'd have here where your insteps are and your knee would be here and your knee would be here and essentially what you'd have is a butterfly mount um from there you have options right like if you have time you can start digging for an arm triangle because you clearly have one set up right here or 
if you don't have as much time or you feel more uh, <laughs> verbal. Oh, you got it? Oh, he's a beast. He got the verbal tap before the timer. He was just saying, um, well, never mind. Well, let's say you have more time and you want to work on some different things, okay? Um, you can uh, you can shift your knees up and go for the arm bar. So good stuff, Dan. I'm glad you got the Ezekiel tap. Um, okay. Uh, all right. That'll do it for this round. I guess I'll figure out something after the fact because we're streaming. So I'm going to end this one. Like YouTube's. If you're watching this on YouTube, like and subscribe. Thank you. All right.